Okay, this lesson for the Cornet Project class addresses uh, the phenomenon called priming. We know we all have pre-understanding. We have terminology that we've never quite defined from the Bible necessarily. Uh, we have a working knowledge of our language, English, for example, but few of us have ever perhaps studied to be a teacher in grammar or to use syntax in any approach to the Bible, for example. So that's apologetics, it's what we do. And priming is very powerful, such as the constructs Calvin, Luther, Arminus, Molina, and Pelagius are known for. That is, they're identified according to those men. So uh, initial research, you find out first, don't forget those are names of people. And don't forget that most of what they are today don't reflect uh, necessarily a one-to-one -one what those men actually taught and the volumes of material they might have produced. But statements that are quite remarkable, uh, recently a, another YouTube channel came out, and he's a, a, I think he's a supporter of Calvinism, it sounds like, because, but he let out with something quite remarkable. He said, it's not persuasion, and he then rolled right into Calvinism, and he quoted Spurgeon, saying, Spurgeon said, Calvinism is the gospel and nothing else. So I thought, well, that, okay, so he has thousands of subscribers already and it resonates with people that have already been primed and heard those things. But this is a Bible class, and we're positing outward from the text. But I was quite surprised and somewhat startled when he deliberately said, it is not persuasion. Because I thought, first, why would he say that? And uh, let's go ahead and just remember our text, John 3. 36, where it says, one who is a path, thumb, the one who is negating this alpha privative here, one who is negating. Persuasion. There we go. I won't write the rest of it out, but he says he will not, but the one negating persuasion will not see life, opsetai, and then it's but rather Allah, but rather uh, the, the wrath from God, orge, the wrath from God is abiding upon him already. So it was interesting that he was so adamant to lead out. So whatever it is, persuasion is obviously gaining traction since it's a Bible word. Patho, for example, is translated 22 times in our Bible, the King James Bible, persuasion or persuade, some form of that. So then we have the other text, 1 Peter, we had 4.17 where he spoke of judgment beginning at the house of God. And then he said, uh, what will the end be? Um, let me see. Telos. Telos. Yeah. What will the end be? And he called them of the one's tone. Uh, again, that, that word... Got the negative particle again. Ah, pay, then tone. And it speaks of what is the end, the end of the ones who are negating, match this alpha privative, negating persuasion. So for him to make such a flippant remark, obviously persuasion, a Bible word, it's, uh, I don't know why he didn't notice the ordained means uh, for example, and we remember that uh, there were those who said 
that it's apart from the gospel. Regeneration is apart from the gospel. And we remember 1 Corinthians 4.15 where Paul said, Ego, now I'm just freehanding this. So let's just, no, I'm taking a fragment out. I myself, Ege, Nasa, Arist, first person. I myself, fathered fathered you all you all is plural so you just put all there and then he said through and it was um, to you angelio Through the gospel. Notice this. Through the gospel. And this word here forms a conduit. And we've done this before where you would just show this. And it's through the gospel. Through the gospel. And then come back up here who are negating persuasion by the gospel. There's that word correct again, that prefix there. It's E-V in our language. E-V, well, let me say E-V-A-N-G-E-L. And that means correct. So through the angeli, angeli O, there we go. Negating persuasion by the gospel. So I'm not sure. It's just quite striking. It's why I say I would rather know the Bible. Start there. The seminary was neither Calvinist nor uh, Arminian nor any of the other uh, identified as Luther, Arminus, Molina, Pelagius, neither Catholic nor Protestant. And that's real easy for any rational person to notice because Protestants aren't Catholics. Catholics are happy not to be Protestants. But if you say you're neither, some people seem to have a problem see noticing that for the first time it hadn't occurred to them they didn't know that they you could just follow the faith in the bible you didn't have to be under the or uh, within a theistic tradition or order or state established religion of any kind so back to this what causes off script this is what happens when you are primed according to constructs and when you're primed according to constructs things that are really specific and self-evident in the scriptures. Again, this was negating persuasion up here. I'll go ahead and write that in since it's important as well. By the son, notice that. Persuasion by the son. By the son. So here we're talking about negating persuasion by the son, speaking of Jesus. What is the end of the ones who are negating persuasion by the gospel, the message that speaks of Jesus? Paul said, in Christ Jesus. He said, in Christ Jesus. In Christo, Christ Jesus. In Christ Jesus, I myself... Jesus, I myself fathered you all through the gospel. So you'll notice negating persuasion by the Son. Uh, John the Baptist had said, everyone who's already believing into the Son is already having everlasting life. But the one who is negating persuasion by the Son will not see life, but rather the wrath from God is already abided upon him. So this is just a quick lesson, free-handed it. Just to tell you, I was shocked that someone could lead out in this channel as an introduction and uh, quickly, just flippantly say, and he said, it is not using the negative particle, which was quite ironic that he was saying not a negative particle and the very text uh, emphasized the horrific peril of those who are negating persuasion, negating persuasion by the son, negating persuasion by the gospel, denying that we're fathered through the gospel. So those are things that are negative externalities regrettable, egregious consequences that are incurred by being primed first or concerning yourself more with a construct 
rather than with the scriptures, the Bible words, and the context. So have a blessed day.